Hello everyone, it's Ventures Pro Anna here with you tonight and I'm going to talk a little bit about one of the articles that I had uh, included in my newsletter for this month. And the article was um, an article that Deltoid put out talking about what are the current trends, things going on the report of the hospitality uh, industry. And so I thought I would talk about this in terms of the hotelers and how this would impact uh, their uh, particular industry and what are some things that they could do using Pinterest. And so I want to share my screen here. Okay, now hopefully all of you can see my Pinterest account here. But one of the things that um, Deltoy said in the report was that hotelers to be able to compete with the accommodation aggregates out there and aggregators out there, I should say, uh, that they're going to have to continue to grow and to morph into what the consumers want. Now, what are accommodation aggregators? Those are companies like Expedia. And I talked about in one of my other blogs how most people don't realize that Expedia owns actually a lot of the travel companies. And they're beginning to now get some new inventory and they're going to dump that new inventory into the market. So how are hotel owners going to be able to compete with that? And that's one of the things that was addressed in this article. And so one of the things from research they have discovered is that of course, and you've heard me say this, consumers want authenticity. Uh, they want personalization, they want things to be easy to be to access, and they want it on demand. And that is one of the things that Pinterest can really do for a hoteler. And so for example here with my Pinterest account, if you take a look, you have these boards where you can highlight different things. And in doing research for uh, my blog next week, I was um, taking a look at what are the, some of the current trends uh, on Pinterest and then how could that relate to a given market. And so that is what you could do here. And so for example, you know, if you're in the hotel industry, then you would have boards here related to what you feel like would give good information to your potential clients. And then as a result of that, what's going to happen is, like here with my blog board, okay, all every one of these so if I click for example here on this blog then what that's going to do is that's going to take me directly to my website or a potential client okay so see hotelers could use these boards to really personalize things and they can do research to see what kind of information do travelers really want and they're able to do that on Pinterest they were able to do that research. And one of the ways that they can do that research is by, you see here it says trending on Pinterest. And so then I can go over here and I can click on travel. And you can see that these are some of the topics that are trending on Pinterest within the travel industry. So you see that's how they can find out. The other great part is that in personalizing these boards and providing great information about what you know, what types of activities are at a hotel or in the given area, just really providing a lot of good information for them. Then you can look at your analytics. And by looking at your analytics, you can then see are people are the right people looking at my Pinterest account? Are they liking the things that I'm posting? Uh, for example, if I look here, my analytics on the world right today. If I look here, I can see what are my top pin impressions. So, for example, this is one of my top pin impressions right here. Well, that tells me that this is something that apparently has attracted people to my Pinterest account or to my pins. So as a result, 
I want to figure out how I can provide more of these and I can relate it to my company. These are the same things that hotelers need to do is to develop those boards and have them with things that's going to cover pain points for potential travelers so that they can then you know go to their website they can attract these potential travelers to their particular hotel and that's just a, a small sampling of what they can do with the pinterest account with the pinterest analytics and with keeping up with what's trending on pinterest so you see there's just a lot lot of information there uh, that they can share also they can uh with this, they can make adjustments very quickly. And that's what people really, the consumer really wants is, you know, constantly evolving and changing. And it's a lot easier to go on your Pinterest account and to go on your Pinterest account and change something on one of these boards than it is to make a change to your website. Uh, and so, all I have to do here is to go and let's say that, for example, here on uh, LinkedIn Social Media Marketing, and I decide, hmm, I don't like the name of that board anymore. I can very easily go right in here and change it, change the description, change everything, just by the click of a button. So that makes it where you can be very fluid, and that is what the consumers are wanting now. So these are some things to keep in mind, not only for the hotel industry, but for any industry, of how Pinterest can really help you to be able to give the consumers what they want. And over, you know, we're almost uh, finished with 2017 and continuing into 2018, uh, these travel companies are going to have to be aware, whether they want to or not, of what consumer expectations are because if you're not remaining aware of consumer expectations and you're not using technology strategies then you're going to be left behind and so that's just one of the things that i wanted to show you tonight and i appreciate y'all being here uh we had a great interview yesterday with greg and that's why i wanted to focus on the hotel industries because uh, of course, Greg is the uh, general manager at the J.B. Duke Hotel. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to hear Greg, then I hope that you will uh, go back and take a look at the interview I did with Greg yesterday. I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. And until next Tuesday, this is Anna, the Pinterest Pro, and I'm signing off and going to travel on down the Pinterest Superhighway.